Hey guys, welcome to Texting Academy, man. My name is Pramod. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to become a SDAT with a six-figure salary in 2022. Uh, this is the exactly a kind of a blueprint. You can take it as a blueprint, which will help you and will be, which will basically give you high-level uh, topics and the things that you should know to become an SDAT uh, in 2022. All right. So let's get started. Uh, this video is specially for the fresher as well as anyone who has experience of two, three years and they want to switch to the automation or they want to switch to or basically want to become an SDAT, right? In 2022, that's their target. So I'm going to give you uh, my points. What are the different mindset that you need? Uh, what are the different programming language tools, frameworks and other communication related things? So let's get started and let's uh, basically discuss about this, how you can achieve with the action plan in the end. All right. So let's get started. Awesome. So first of all, let's uh, talk about this, uh, which is basically that is, is it possible? Is it possible to achieve six figure salaries uh, with SDAT, right? Uh, I think this the easiest answer for this is yes, because uh, if you see, uh, this is the snapshot of the LinkedIn salary, right? Yeah, right. So uh, if you go to LinkedIn salary and basically search for software development developer uh, engineering test, which is basically a short form for the SZ, right? And if you see in United States, you will see that average salary they are getting is almost one lakh dollar per year, right? So of course they have achieved almost. So in US, especially, yes, you can achieve this uh, salary very easily. So let's talk about, I mean, uh, apart from US, uh, what what is the situation at the on uh, Asia specific, like in India or something? Yes, you can achieve around four to five lakhs. You can start your career with four to five lakhs uh, in SDAT also. If you are a fresher, you want to directly, uh, there are companies, there are big product based companies like Wingify, BrowseStack, and there are a couple of them, which which uh, basically hire as a fresher, even they hire as a fresher, and they will give you a very decent package, like uh, from starting point, they will give you around seven, four to eight, I would say. Uh, so there's a stat, start, starting package, I right? that you can achieve uh, but you have to target the right companies that's very important and even if you are an experienced person uh, in even in india right or for example in bangalore you can achieve this target uh, with the sd profile right so definitely it, it is possible so the answer for this is uh, yes it is very much possible so let's uh, discuss like how it is possible like how we can basically achieve and what are the different skills required uh, first of all uh, these are the things the first uh, that I have seen personally is the mindset. Why I'm uh, why I'm talking about this one is that basically there are certain myths. And uh, what are these myths? Myths are uh, let me tell you that these are the especially the myths uh, which basically I'm talking about. Uh, give me a second. Let me scroll a little bit. Yeah, the first one basically most of the time people have, have this uh, myth. Uh, I call it which is basically I'm not good with good good with the programming. Right. So to answer this question, even I was not good, good with the programming, right? When I started, I was doing manual testing. I basically then try to learn uh, Python. I started with Python and after that I learned about the Java and after the JavaScript. So in my 10 years of experience, a 10 year of total experience, I have learned like these three languages and trust me, these are enough. Uh, I mean, I'm not comfortable. Uh, if you if you say I'm not very much comfortable in any of the language, but I can do the task which is required in the SDAT profile, right? So that's, I think that is enough. So of course, what you have to do is very important, which is practice. You require, for example, I'm talking about only the Java one. For example, you require the knowledge of core Java and some advanced concept. That's it. That's really, really it. Uh, people are afraid that, okay, I need knowledge of Spring Boot. I need uh, knowledge of uh, very, very heavy build systems. No, in Java, no. You just need information or a very good skill uh, in the core Java and some ad advanced concept. That's it. And that will be enough for you. Okay. All right. Uh, but the problem here is people want, don't want to do, which is basically they don't, they are little afraid of the practical projects because as a fresher, I don't have any practical project that I have done in the past, but trust me, you have done it. You have done the couple of projects in your internship, or even if you have some time, right, you can do it on weekends that I am basically talking about many times, right? It will take a time. 
uh, you just need to do some practical projects. I have seen people in not known IT background, especially moving to the S dead role in India as well as in Germany. This is real based in a real scenario, guys, because this is what I have personally seen. People are with a known IT background are moving towards the S dead profiles. Or if you are doing a manual testing and if you know the core Java, then why you are not moving it? That's very, very, very. I want to push all of the people who are right now in manual testing and they are in comfort zone and they are stuck, but they know Java, but they don't want to, they don't want to switch to automation because they are little afraid. These are the steps, do a practice, learn about the core Java. I'm going to give you the other example, like how you can do that the same in the action plan. Everything is there. Just understand these things. So this is the mindset that I'm talking about. You have to burst your myth. Known IT background people are moving towards SZ. Why you are not doing it? Okay. Uh, there, there is another myth, which is basically I can do manual, but no automation, which is I completely disagree because I have seen people becoming uh, very much comfortable in manual testing because they just have to test a couple of websites uh, manually and that's it. And they, are and they are comfortable. So they are just in their comfort zone. Get out of this comfort zone, guys, in 2022 and make sure you learn about the programming languages automation frameworks now. You are stuck in your career. There will be a no growth. You will not get not much salary hike. Trust me, this I have seen personally. And uh, this is not a new for me. I have taught this concepts many, many to the many, many students. And right now, uh, lots of students are already have switched to switch manual to automation. So this is I'm talking with experience. Okay, they are in comfort zone. They can't do it. I would say give it a try. Any manual tester in 2022 who are listening right now, or even if you're a fresher, right, try to basically uh, learn about the automation learn and basically give it a try give it a try basically means uh, prepare for an automation interview tell your hr that i know the automation related things like selenium but what are the things i will talk about here also and give it a try it if it is not working that's all you will back to the original position which is again the same right so that uh, that was about the bits now let's talk about what are the problems how we can solve it how you can solve it i think uh the solution for this above myths is that I can do it. My experience, I if, if I'll talk about, right, I am clearly telling you that I was into manual testing. I learned about the Python scripts, then Py APM project, which was mobile, mobile related, Selenium with Java, JavaScript, lead as that, and now QA manager. Like this is how my path was there, right? So uh, again, you have to have your clear expectation. You want to learn uh, automation, you have to learn coding, you have to have your expectation in 2022, like what I want to achieve. I have certain number in my mind that I want to achieve in salary. I have like, these are the concepts that I need to learn. I need to focus and I need to learn coding and automation. Like this is how you will have, you should have expectation in 2022. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Of course, uh, three pillars that you need to basically mention, uh, always, always remember practice accountability, start with a small fail and learn fast. Uh, practice basically means learn about the concepts related to uh, core Java, automation, frameworks, Selenium, Cybrus. Accountability basically means you need to share those knowledge you know, or either on blog, videos or somewhere around. Or you can have your friends who, uh, who will basically are more accountable to you and you can share your progress with them. Uh, you have to uh, start with small, fail and learn fast like what's going on. Okay, let's move on to the uh, programming knowledges. Let me talk about this, right? Uh, let's basically, let's make them little annex. Yeah. Okay. Programming language. Of course, uh, I am continuously talking about let you, if you are a fresher, start with Java. If you are comfortable in JavaScript and Python, great, right? Uh, you can start with core Java. Core Java has like these many options. I mean, if you know, uh, there, these are, these are specially uh, the concepts in Java, for example, you have introduction, data types, oops, and packages, static import, exceptions, strings, and other things, right? So these are the important things that you need to learn in Java, uh, core Java, and you will be more comfortable, right? How you can do that? Again, I have told many times, uh, you can take online courses. You can try with Udemy courses before the core Java. There are Udemy courses available. And uh, this mind map is available on the sd.life slash notes. So you can download everything. No need to make notes right now. You can download this mind map and all the links will be there. Okay. Yeah. So this is it. And uh, you need to learn about the design patterns, right? 
you need to implement the projects on weekend so you can do some java projects on weekends so that's uh, about the programming language that i'm i was talking about okay let's uh, come to the important stuff which is what are the tools right what are the different tools i need to learn to basically achieve or become an asset right that i am talking about so uh, especially if you talk about i have divided them into mobile uh, web right so web you can start with these uh, 30 days of automation testing this is like a series that i have already told you right uh, first of all you need to know the web fundamentals which are basically how http works what are the different fundamentals related to internet uh, apis and other things right uh you can start with the 30 days of automation testing this series is already available i'm going to give you the link in the description how you can basically uh, learn about them you can basically learn about the selenium advanced and basics you can learn about the cybers uh, in mobile you can basically learn about apm and mobile testing how because my mobile testing is little different right so you need to learn about the concepts uh, you can learn about the cicd right and you need to uh, you can basically watch the playlist of jenkins right uh okay uh so cid c c i c d point of view jenkins you need to learn that right uh, let's jump to api testing i think uh, this is really really important where i have told about like how you you have to learn basics rest and soap all things are i think already covered in the 30 days of series uh, you can start watching them basically prepare a plan for like 1 2 3 months in the action plan i'm going to discuss about all the things so links are already there tutorial series are already there it's just you which is who is basically are stuck in the mindset that's what i'm talking about okay uh yeah let me do one thing let me unexpand this and i'm going to discuss about the action plan now okay awesome so uh tools are clear i think right so now let's uh, do one thing let me uh make an yeah uh let's right now let's discuss about only the important stuff which is framework knowledge right uh there are a couple of links i'm going to give you uh like how you can basically learn about them uh the first thing after core java when you are finished with core java right make sure you uh, again i have told you right you can basically take some udemy tutorials uh where you can learn about the core java from this right after finishing the core java what you need to do is you have to jump directly to the design patterns so you can learn from the head first design pattern this is what i have personally done right and trust me it's a very good book and it will give you a very very interesting things uh, how the design patterns in java works right after that you can learn about the second book which is design uh, if you say like this this one which is basically uh design patterns for a automatic test uh, this is especially for the selenium it's in c sharp but it is uh, applicable most of the uh, design patterns are applicable in the java also right so yet that you can try uh, the third thing i think which is uh, most of the people already know we have two patterns uh, we have like many patterns in selenium but page object and screenplay are right now more import more popular a uh, page object is more popular i think you can try this book uh, which will basically give you more idea about it okay now uh for the communication point of view i think this is very very serious and i am very very serious about this uh for the sd especially because they need to communicate properly right uh i have tried camly for this uh, you can basically uh, go to this link which is sd.live/camly and you will get a free uh, i think free to one or two two three classes uh in communication why as for sd uh, communication is really really important whenever you are discussing about your bugs whenever you are basically discussing about your uh, uh bug your progress your automation strategy or anything related to it right you need to communicate well and you have to keep on basically increasing or improving your communication right so i think camly is very very important i still use it i mean if you know like after 10 years i still use it right and this is a really really wonderful app that i am talking about right so uh, these are the important stuff which i was discussing about which is basically the mindset you have to know the programming languages a uh, tools different tools that you need to do basically learn about the sdet framework knowledge is and the communication right so these are high level view i have already given you this is a clear picture now you will have a clear clear picture that this is i have to do to get a six figure salary in 2022 right and uh, now action plan which is very important right very interesting first you need to start watching the sdet tutorials which is sdet blueprint that i have already created 33 videos uh this is live batch of the students that i have done in the past uh you can start watching the videos where you will learn about the api testing 
सेलेनियम फंडामेंटल्स वेब फंडामेंटल्स माइंड सेट वीडियोज पाइथन सी आई सी डी ए डब्ल्यू एस ऑल दी थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू इट सो इफ यू आर एक्सपीरियन पर्सन दिस इज अ वीडियो सीरीज फॉर यू इफ यू इवन इफ यू आर फ्रेशर स्टार्ट वॉचिंग इट अंडरस्टैंड इट टू द लाइव प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड यू विल लर्न अ लॉट ओके गो हेयर हाउ यू कैन बेसिकली वॉच यू कैन गो टू एस डेट डॉट लाइव स्लैश वाई टी पी ओके फॉर दिस I this is my personal point this is my personal external action plan that I am sharing with you if I will take like 2 3 months January February March I'll do the 30 days challenges one by one you can go to ytp again as the dot live uh, for a programming language I will do I'll basically st- I will start doing the hacker rank or hacker earth uh, java based if you are comfortable in javascript python go for it uh, do the weekend projects this is I'm um, telling this like uh, many many times to the automate the websites that i have shared you uh, add to your github profile you can see my github profile right in the description i will share with you build your resume that i have already covered in one of the video and i have shared my resume also you can do that uh, share your knowledge this is very very important you can start a blog make sure you start a blog in 2022 let me know in the comment tag me in twitter i'll be happy to give you feedback on this again you can start on free website just buy a domain and start on wordpress if possible uh, you can start youtube channel also a couple of folks a uh, couple of students have already started uh, by seeing my videos and i'm ha- happy to share your videos also if you are creating a good content okay so this was it this was all about the overall high level view how you can become an asdet with six figure in 2022 with the action plan i think you guys are clear now uh, this is was a high level view to give you to motivate you guys especially this is just to motivate you guys that how uh, you can also do the same you can achieve the six figure salaries even if you're a fresher with your six years or even if you have two three years experience yes you can do that but you have to follow the mindset and you have to follow these steps okay you have to watch the videos you have to grind for 2 3 months trust me you will be able to do it okay thanks a lot for video thanks a lot for watching this video till now and if you have any question uh, please uh, comment down below and if you like this video if you have understood something if i got some value please make sure you give it a like and share with your friends i'll see you in the next video bye and thanks a lot for watching